The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this is in the book of Allah azza wa وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا The messenger will say, Oh Allah, my people have deserted this Qur'an. When the scholars spoke about deserting the Qur'an, that is mentioned in this verse, they said that there are different types of or different matters which are considered or that are included in deserting the Qur'an. One of it is to desert, referring to it for judgment, as we mentioned, one of the rights of the Qur'an. Another is to desert reciting the Qur'an. I, uh, I don't know, brothers and sisters, how can a person who claims love to Allah, who claims to have Allah as his Lord, whom he loves, and can actually go a full day without reciting his words? You know, one of the scholars once said a beautiful sentence or a phrase. He said, if you want Allah to speak to you, read his book. He'll be addressing you. He'll be talking to you. And if you want to talk to him, start praying. You'll be talking to him. Those who are fascinated by, by, by songs and singers, they, uh, they memorize every letter in a song. And those who are fascinated by celebrities, whether they're sports people or uh, artists or actors or actresses or singers or they memorize what they say they imitate the way they walk the way they dress the way they style their hair the, everything to the de to the minutest detail and this just reflects their deep love and attachment to these characters I find it amazing for a Muslim who loves Allah to go for a complete day, 24 hours, and not recite a single page from the Quran. If he or she doesn't know how to read it, at least from what you memorize, as we said earlier, you must memorize enough to be able to pray. Fatiha and anything, any of the short surahs. So you can pray. Or you can do, use it for ruqya. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, qul a'udhu bi falaq, qul a'udhu bi nas, ayatul kursi, and so on. How can anyone go through the day We're not going to be talking about the consequences because as we said, this is one of the forms of deserting the Quran, not to recite it. So you will, you will have the Prophet ﷺ complaining about you. But I'm talking about a different angle now. We have to have this attachment, this passion to the Quran where you feel your day is gloomy if you don't have the Qur'an, if you don't recite the Qur'an, if you don't listen to the Qur'an, if you don't understand, read some of the translation of the meanings of the Qur'an. If you don't have these feelings, work on it. And it's doable, it's not impossible. They can be developed with dua and persistence. It'll happen.